Which? Uh, unpacking again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Just, I don't know. I don't know. It's all a bit Have overload you? of stuff. So I'm so, just going to unpack. That's that's my plan. I'm going to unpack and. What I absolutely love and fits will stay, and worst case scenario, I'll just have to repack stuff and take it, take it back home. <clears throat> yeah. Not but it's not looking too bad at the moment, it's just getting things up, isn't it? There's a place for everything and everything in its place. Just We just but, don't have uh, many places to put it all. No. I think anybody who's going for this whole experience of going onto a narrow, narrow boat would probably have experienced exactly the same thing that we're going through right now. <clears throat> so we're going to have to downsize even further even f <laughs> so we'll be making a trip back with more stuff to store I think. just one just one okay i did warn her but she didn't listen <laughs> right i'm going to take you down here guys because we are we have a slight damp issue under the bed which i believe most people generally have this problem um <clears throat> down in this corner there was a leak apparently originally in the bathroom which is behind that wall and you can see the moulds come through so uh, I'm, not many of you know but I'm in the cleaning industry as a company so we put some treatment down that should completely sanitise that area and on the floor as well so that's all dead now and will dissipate, dissipate. And then um, to make this more of an, a friendlier environment for storing stuff, we're just going to put some lino down in the bottom, which I'm about to cut, measure up, cut and fit. And then this area will be ready to start storing some more stuff. Okay, oh, there's Pudsey in the corner. So okay, catch you one on thing. the other side. Sorry? Can I say one more thing? Yeah. Yeah. This is really enjoyable experience because this is our first full day on the boat and stress isn't the right word but it's been hard definitely been hard because i'm worn out mark's worn out we've done non-stop all day every day right till sort of bedtime packing sorting charity shopping giving away popping to friends and family and saying would you like this and making sure that everything at home is organized because we do still own our home um, and my son is living there so and they moved in with us about two months ago so we've had my son and daughter-in-law and both my grandchildren which is lovely and I adore them but as you all know <laughs> when you're adults you do get on each other's nerves so we've had all that and they're just as stressed and glad to see us go and, and everything else but so yeah so today is a bit emotional and thoughtful and glad to be here but still not real yet oh and my first major attempt at getting on the boat on a plank of wood mm -hmm. oh my goodness <clears throat> missed that didn't we <laughs> I should have filmed that so let's hope that gets better boat's on a bit of a lean as well because we're actually grounded a bit what did you say darling <laughs> we're on a bit of a lean, on a bit of a lean. <laughs> I if, I, if I show you okay so that's level and obviously the picture is slightly, but there we go. So Very anyway, nice. yeah, just wanted to say, uh, but I'm absolutely loving the noises and the visuals we've had. Canoeists go paddling by, um, the motion of the boat next door, even though this is an absolutely ugly sight out of that window. I don't like that very much at all. Um, <laughs> but yeah, just the general one minute you're inside the boat, the next minute you're outside the boat. Great outdoors gonna get better from here on in. We hope so. So yeah, in the words of Vinnie Jones, it's been emotional. Yeah, and, and Bridget doesn't is. always wear two glasses on her head, by the way. Oh, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do this. I do this a lot. <clears throat> that's normal. That's that normal. Okay, let's you, um, cut some lino. So that's the base plate of the bed. The simplest thing to do is to take that, offer it up, and we're just going to cut a line following that edge with a Stanley knife, sharp blade, and then that will be our template, it says. What are you doing, Mark? Sorry? Mm -hmm. 
are you doing? Um, just taking these logins out, I suppose you call them logins, little supports um, here, here and here. And then uh, that will allow us to put the lino down flat into the bottom. Um, and then I can put the logins back, there's a couple here as well. So just fitting it out basically. Why do and it's got a, the build of this, it's um, I can't see where the screw is, but um, F. Of all the screws, they're these types. Flat ended ones, which uh, nobody uses those anymore, but they're a bugger for unscrewing. So, let's see how we get on. What, eh? I was just going to get my vinyl out. Is that a euphemism? No. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> right, so how do I reverse the camera, Bridget? You can't. It doesn't, reverse, it doesn't let me do that. So. We've got some new shipmates. <laughs> you get an introduction later on, but in the meantime, we have got Buster, Marley, and Poppy. Buster, Marley, and Poppy. And there's, e there's even less room on the boat now. <laughs> and total hilariousness getting Poppy on the boat for the first time. <laughs> Talk about drama queen. Anyway, uh, catch I'm sure you. I get used to it. A bit like me really. Me and Poppy will be the ones talking. What do you reckon Buster? What say you? And you Poppy. What do you reckon Marley? You're old school in here. Yeah, not a lot. It's like a duck to water, ain't Marley? Well, I can't believe that fits so well. Wow. So that was part of my master plan. What was that, Mark? To fit it in as easy as that. And I do believe I've achieved world domination. Or something to that effect. Ugh. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah, me too. It's a lot nicer than just bare um, plywood, isn't it? Yeah. Bit of a kink in it. Um, it's like a settle. I'm not going to glue it down, I don't think there's a point really. No, well, I think. Oh, never mind. Once you've got the pieces of wood back in. The bum's not hanging out, is it? Um, I didn't look. Did you have a, did you have a bum back in? <laughs> it could be. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy with that. It's just oh, a don't bit. worry, we'll, we'll edit your bum out. So, I've just got to then refit these. Do. With all these, once I know what I'm doing, uh, that one was that, like so. Well, they're not fitted yet, but you get my gist. That's like so. And then the rest. Happy days! What do you say to that job then, Mark? Uh, it's a job well done. Come on. What's that, babe? The mattress cover sheet. Which the mattress cover sheet? Mattress or the cover sheet mattress? <laughs> major mattress sheet meltdown. Where did I put that? In what bag? I don't know. We'll just put this down. It's all ready to go. So the mattress go back on here. But Bridget's having a mattress meltdown. Yes, because I can't remember what bag it's in. Oh, well, it, it's got to be in the room. It could be anywhere, guys. Um, There's that much stuff. It could be but that's buried at the bottom, next. at the top, in the Range Rover, in the camper van. It's somewhere out there. Yeah. <coughs> Job number two is wardrobe door rail keeps um, falling off. So. From what I can see, oh, there's a light inside, but carefully you'll see there's a little bracket there and the screws are a bit loose, so I'm just going to tighten those up and that should hold that wheel within side the wardrobe. Great! Okay, so first meal on board officially, okay, and we've gone for the classic British fish and chips, which uh, for those of you who uh, um, frequent the rest of the world, um, 
fish and chips is pretty much a traditional meal here in the UK, i.e. Scotland, Ireland, Wales and England. And we're about to sit down and have some. And what we normally put on it is vinegar. Okay, and you, go, you just basically do that and fill it all up. And also we're going to put salt on there as well. So, um, Bridget's a bit partial for some mayonnaise as well, aren't you, darling? Mm -hmm. Okay. Right, what are you up to DIY now, babe? Well, I've got a bowl full of uh, screws, and we have a washing machine, okay, and apparently this did have a washing machine in here at some time in the past. So I've just got to basically jiggle around, change a few things, plumb it through to the sink waste, and uh, move all this front cover off here and get it in. I might have to take the top off, but I just wanted to see first, so wish me luck. I wish you luck. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so we managed to take all these panels out. We now have a fitted washing machine. And we've got the electrics are inside there. I just the left over, but so we've got the electrics there. And we open the door fully. The tray opens. They close. And I believe, let me see if I can find it. I haven't plumbed it in properly yet, but we have a hose and the water coming through from the back as well. But I won't be running that yet. So that's the washing machine plumbed in and ready to go. Now we're going to just plonk a table. Excellent news, um, all plumbed in. That's just filled up with uh, water, and we've tested, there's no leaks at the at the back and then we've uh, connected onto that and turned the isolator valve on here's the waste pipe the gray slotted pipe is the waste pipe from the washing machine and then that comes through this is cold water feed on there and there's a valve there that blue tap so that can isolate that so these come through the other side of this um, this side of the cupboard here, so I'll show you where that goes to. Okay, so I don't know if you can see this, so there's the pipe. It's a bit dark in there, but that grey pipe comes round down here and straight into that join there, uh, down through into the waste pipe. Okay, and uh, yeah. And then that's to the other sink, so everything's hunky dory and we don't have any leaks or anything like that. I can feel nothing. I'm going to check it over. Obviously, we don't want to fill the boat up with lots of water, but um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I'll just, just check here for some more. Got any water there at all? Not getting any water at all. Great little tip here these little light things. You can just in your cupboards really handy for things like this uh, so um so yeah he had he had this cap over the top of it um which was in place of that blue bit and it blanked it off basically um so everything was here for a washing machine we've got six uh leisure batteries so and plus we're continuous cruising so we will be um we will be basically have enough power we'll just wash when we're on the move with the alternator so awesome catch you later oh my days i am completely exhausted and i've just been we've had such a long day today i've just been up to the takeaway yet again i know it's really bad takeaway food however it tastes so nice and i've worked so hard today and i need to reward myself <laughs> Or something to that effect well we've had a really amazing day today we have got it's now about 8 30 yeah eight, no 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 it's yes it is 8 30 in the evening so i'm just driving back to the boat um got uh, a takeaway it's not fish and chips but it's in a fish and chip bag it's uh, chicken tikka wraps with lots of salad the healthy side um so that's what i'm doing next um all today um we did the washing machine uh, I've even plumbed it in now and it actually works, which is mad because I didn't expect to do that today. Uh, cleaned out some 
uh, plumbing because you know when you start messing with plumbing you find out there's little gunk in there and stuff like that so we clean that out as well we're still in empty boxes we're still loading boxes back out because we've got too much stuff Bridget's very keen on on uh, on her knickknacks and paddy wax and unfortunately uh, we never give the dog a bone but never mind and then so we're gonna be taking stuff back basically However, not too much. It's not going to be too bad. So, anyway, must go. Uh, I'm just going to try and negotiate some cars here. So I'll better leave you. And I'll okay, so see. picture hanging time. And because we're on a boat, we don't want these just flapping around. Now, our walls are pretty straight compared to a lot of people's. They tend to have a larger angle. So, for instance, that's straight at the moment, and that's not straight. If you, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so. We're pretty straight on our our boat, but if you hang a picture, obviously it's going to dangle down. So for instance, this piece here would be sort of over here, finding a plumb level. So we've got these brackets, which we screwed onto the back of there. You can see Bridget in the reflection. Um, <laughs> and that now means that that is completely firm against the wall. There's one on this side as well. And so that picture now can't move. And uh, just so you know, that is St. Ives in Cornwall. Where I used to live. Where Bridget used to live for a while. Mm, for a long while. On about three different occasions, and my daughter was born there. So. Yeah. So we've got a lot of pictures to hang up. So we'll catch up with you soon. Okay, so I'm just about to take off this mounting bracket, which was for the old TV. And we've got a, a nice television that I've uh, took out of the house that's uh, ready to go on the, to this wall just here. And we've got the cabinet here, and I'm just literally about to take this bracket off because there is the old television. Um, and I've got an LED TV, so I don't want to waste it really. So. Um, so I'm just uh, removing this piece now and then removing all the screws and we'll get this mounted up and um, hopefully it will look pretty good when I've finished. Speak to you soon. Excellent, so we've managed to get the TV mounted nice and flush to the wall. Our supply sockets which hopefully we're going to get to running on 12 volt system, not the telly unfortunately, but all the auxiliary equipment and the boxes. So yeah, one and all is good in. So I'm pretty pleased with that, how it looks. Got some wood. So we're doing a bit of recycling today. Some leftover bits from the DIY. Look at all this lovely wood, look. Anyway, so yeah, just to, took a load of bags down to the recycling centre here and then uh, to make some room because <laughs> we've got a massive pile outside their boat. Anyway, as you can see the dogs have settled in quite well. Isn't that right Buster? What about you Poppy? And what do you say Marley Moo? Are you tired? Yes. Well, um, just a little job. Just got the old Dyson mounted on the wall. Now, we plan to change this to a 12 volt system, because obviously it's reducing it down from 240 volts with this thing, down to 12 volt or whatever it is, nine volts, to charge the Dyson up. So we will be putting some 12 volt sockets in converting this so it doesn't have to invert to 12 volt. That's a nice little install of that. It's out of the way. You can't see it from the other end of the caravan. 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 The boat. And it's tucked away there. Look. Is there one more job? Done. Okay, so just mounted some LED lights all the way down the boat on the left hand side and all the way that back down here. And down to here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount those um, as 
um, because they're LED, I'll be able to wire them into the 12 volt system. So that way we won't be using terrible uh, these little things here, which is currently what we're using because that's 240. And we don't really want to upscale 12 volt to 240 just to run some fairy lights, which are LED anyway. So but that will be happening at another day. Isn't that right, Marley? Yes. What do you think, Poppy? What about you, Marley Moo? What say you, Buster Wooster? <laughs> All right, then. Okay, so what we got here is a Bluetooth speaker on our Sony ones, okay? And then what we have here is a wall mounted turntable which happens to be Bluetooth. Okay, how cool is that? Don't you wish your girlfriend was hot like this? <laughs> <laughs> and we also have a very happy person because very happy. guess what Bridget's going to be doing for the next oh, six vinyl. months? <laughs> All this vinyl. So got to be careful with the uh, copyright on the sound here but I'm going to just turn that down a little bit. So basically, rather than running lots of um, cables around, with the Bluetooth system, yeah, obviously it's a portable speaker, connects to this, Bluetooth wise. Yes, that runs on 240. However, we can hook that up to 12 volt, just need to sort that out. And we can take the speakers anywhere we want to. Also, the nice cool thing about this is you can, we've got another two of these smaller speakers that will pair with this so that means right the way through the boat we can have speakers up in the hell Bridget yes. where the bed. wheelhouse is in the bedroom and the dogs as well while I'm having a bath so how cool is this little number hey look at that wicked gotta love it you change here the belt over to the different size wheel for your speed. Anyway, that's enough about that. So, uh, very, oh, happy. very happy person there. And so is Marley. And so is Bushto. Bushta. And Poppy too. That's right. That's it. You being a... What? What's that say? You seen a cat? Oh, no, you haven't. Surely not. <gasps> Bushta, what do you reckon? You don't know. Okay. Anyway. I'm very excited by this. Very excited. How sad is that? Very, very happy. Just loading some stuff onto the boat and uh, we've got this awesome little trolley. It folds down. I'll show you some pictures or video in, a, in another vlog, but um, it folds away down perfect. It's great for towing, shopping and stuff like that. And it absolutely fits in the inside no problem at all so uh, we've got a lot of stuff a lot of stuff too much stuff <laughs> <laughs>